Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke chapter 6, beginning at the 20th verse. Raising his eyes toward his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are now who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The version of the Beatitudes we find in Luke's Gospel are very disconcerting in many ways. Jesus declares, Blessed those who are poor, hungry, and weep. He declares, Unfortunate those who are rich, who are full, and who laugh. This is not the way we normally see things. Indeed, it is the very opposite to how most people in most cultures would think. There is something shocking in these Beatitudes and woes. Jesus is not saying that poverty is a blessing in itself. Rather, he is declaring that the poor are blessed because God will work to transform their situation. It is the situation of being vulnerable that creates a space for God to work. It is often our need that opens us up to God. It is those who are afflicted in any way who are most likely to experience God's nearness and God's help. In contrast, those who appear to have everything often have no sense of their need for God and are not open to God's transforming presence. The Gospel reading assures us that our pain, our suffering, our affliction can be a blessing because it can open us up to experience the generosity of God towards us.